Andrew, it's just some jerk getting into office so he can get out for the payday. You have to be a real low-life piece of shit to get involved in politics. FX says it's always sunny in Philadelphia can help us understand why politics makes us feel so dirty in three major ways. But don't take it from me. Yeah, we want to vote on things now, okay? We want a democracy. <laughs> well, that ain't gonna work. Even if a politician or bureaucrat originally took the job because they wanted to serve the greater good, the day-to-day -day realities of politics steer them towards really bad behavior. The incentives of office push politicians to act in their own self-interest and against the public. Whether that means flip-flopping to get elected. If I hear one more flip-flop out of you, dude, I'm gonna throw up in my mouth. Lining their own pocket with public funds, giving kickbacks and million dollar favors to friends and family on the taxpayer dime, or just making their own job easier and screwing around. In another episode of Always Sunny, Frank buys a cop car to park in front of the bar to cut down on crime. And it goes about as well as you can expect. Yeah. Frank, why are we stopped? Yeah, why are we stopped? It's a red light. We're in a cop car. We're in a cop car, dude. Make her sing. <laughs> you just go over there and get us a couple of those tasty dogs. Okay, okay, let me see what I can do. Huh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, that actually These worked. uniforms are gonna pay for themselves oh, 10 times over. You know when there aren't meaningful consequences for bad behavior and being a violent jerk can get you big rewards? We shouldn't be surprised when violent jerks come way more common. Ah, 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 get out of here! You're one crazy bitch! I don't want to see you or your dirty balls in my alley again! Okay, here's some simple math. You're more likely to win a major lottery or be struck by lightning than change the outcome of an election with your vote. Knowing this, some scholars argue that it's totally rational to remain uninformed about politics. How does a self-sustaining economy work? I don't understand how the U.S. economy works, much less a, some sort of self-sustaining one. I don't understand how finances work. For the average voter, taking the time to become informed, well, it's not gonna change anything. And so we do other things with our time. Being knowledgeable about politics is hard work. And the gang, just like the rest of us, well, we're not motivated to put in that kind of effort without a payoff. People don't become less self-interested when they get into government. They don't somehow become selfless angels. And we can't rely on voters to hold the government accountable. We should expect power to corrupt. And our institutions, they should be built to protect us from that corruption. If we want to keep the Dennis's and the Franks off our backs, the best thing we can do is to make it harder for jerks to use the government against us. That means limiting the government's power to hand out favors or to bring down the hammer. The last thing any of us should want is for the gang to become the government. Yeah, you know it, pal! You got that, man? That's a good idea!